Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I want to talk riser cards in servers like this. This is the Lenovo X3650 model 4, my newest, newest high-end server that um, I'm still playing with here at my playhouse, trying to get this up and running and being my primary server. And it's taking quite a while and parts just keep um, popping in for it, like this new part. This one has been sent to me by a very special subscriber and his name is I'm, not, I'm gonna say this so wrong, sorry, sorry in, it, in advanced, Corbon, and he said that Bon means uh, Bean, so it's not Mr. Bean, but it's Corbon, and he's from the Netherlands, and the reason why he's my very special subscriber is uh, he helps edit my videos, so um, I don't know who's gonna be editing this video, if uh, I didn't do it myself, it will be at the very end of the video and you can see who, um, who did this. But Core also um, wanted to send me a riser card for my new server, which um, is way too kind. Both editing my videos and sending me good stuff, but it's really hard to say no to good stuff like that. So let's see what, what he got me. This should be a very standard riser card. So here it is. It's a riser card. And um, let's go see the server and I'll try and explain what this is. When you get a new server like this, the producers of them has uh, kind of spared every expense. So the normal thing is that um, a server only comes with one riser card. And that's because in this specific server, you can only use the second riser card if you have also installed the second CPU, which is located want to lose that is located down here I have installed the second CPU but I didn't have the riser card I did go and buy a riser card for it but I only got the the PCB circuit board here and well with only that it, it became a bit too wobbly and I talked about this in a video and this is why Corbon um, decided to send me one of these which is absolutely awesome uh, so now I have this one and this one and I have the one over here This one was actually the one that came with the server But I have exchanged that with the one that is sitting here and I'll kind of show you that This is a different one This is the most regular one you get the three PCI Express X16s here Which can handle X8, X4 and X1s this one that I bought separately is it has an, a single slot which is an actual X16 and which can supply 75 watts for a GPU to be put in here. So we're gonna put that in there. Ah, um, press that down. So it might not it might have to move over there because this one is probably the better one to have right over here. So I think we'll we will um, switch those around. This is the cover up for the back of the server. It um, kind of just pops in here to protect when there is nothing in there so that you don't stick your arm in there. Um, so there is a metal back plane. So let's take this one, which is the GPU socket. And actually the GPU, there's room for it over here. So this is the right one to have over here. And then this awesome one that Core sent me will be going over here. Oh, it fits really well. That's awesome. Um, and here you fit your cards. I have a couple of network cards here that we could try and put in here. So um, that's where you would put this in. This is an X4. You can kind of see that the size of it, it's not full length. So that's an X4 graphics card full x16 here so you pop the this is a network card to two ports you pop that in there um, like that and it it's can be locked into place like that also here is another one it has four ports and that could go right beside it 
and that's uh, that's how the riser card works. Um, it has this one that is common, but then you have you can put in different stuff. There is this one is of course available. That one for the GPU is available. There is also a PCI X slot. This is PCI Express. There is also something called PCI X, which is not widely used anymore, but it's still available. So if you're using PCI X ports, well, you can get a riser card for that too. Um, I haven't seen that around. That's how this works. And you can kind of just pop that down there. Very awesome. Oh, we have some plastic thingy in violation with my cables here. There. So that's cool. If you have longer cards that need support on the back, there is a screw here that loosens that, and you can pull this one back uh, like that. And you can put in a longer card, like a GPU card, like this that needs support on the back for it not to be flapping too much. This one doesn't even fit, but well, the idea is there. Longer cards can get some support on the back of it uh, by hanging in the metal. So, oh, that would actually have to go this way. So that would be helpful. I see there is a difference between these two. This one has support for a couple of cards down here. And the one I put over here, that only has support for one slot here. So the plastic thing that, that is in here, this is not doesn't support very well in the back. And this one does. There is room for a bit more. It can take two cards, uh, or the support for two cards here. So that is very nice. So that should probably have gone over here with the with the GPU card in, in there instead. That would probably be the better way to do that. So what we can really do is um, take out this piece of plastic that, that makes this support possible. And these plastic pieces, they are, um, well, they can be moved. So if you press down on this little lever here and push it back, uh, there, it comes off. So now there is only support for two here, which is better for, for it to sit here. And I can put this one on this one instead, which will give support for longer cards, like the GPU that I really want to put in here. And give it up. Top, it's right in place. So let's try and put this in, see if it um, is good now. There, that goes right in place. You can kind of pull this back. Uh, yeah, it, it does go back here. It's a little bit difficult, but it's possible. And this one, let's just, that's the screw that extends it. And there is variable um, possibilities of putting it in back here. So you can, let's try and put the GPU card in there. See how that would fit in this riser card. It's a very long card. So actually this turns out to be a really dumb idea. This plastic thing that I just put on is really in the way. So let's try and take that off again and leave that on the floor and then we should be able to put the GPU card in. Yeah. So well, that was kind of a weird thing. So this card is actually too long to go in this server, but it still fits in there. So we could kind of just put that in here. There, so now I've installed some, some stuff in my server and all because of the riser card. I could fit one more here and there is also an available slot down here so i could be able to uh, fit a couple of slots more and if i really if i didn't need a gpu card in here i could fit another one of these over here and i would have a total of six expansion cards in this server which is quite a lot for a 2u server so i would like to really thank Coban 
for sending me this awesome riser card so that I can move on with my server. I was missing the metal. Thank you very much for sending the metal and the riser card, uh, the PCB part of the riser card that is, and for helping editing a lot of my videos. Awesome work, dude. If anyone else should enjoy sending me something, my um, address is actually in the About tab here on YouTube. You can send me something and I will try and do something on video with it so that you can see that I got it and hopefully I'm also gonna be enjoying it. And it's also a good idea to send me a notification that something is on the way so that I know to keep an eye out for the mailman. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye. Thank you.